Does he need to go to Specsavers? Like, what? <laughs> Would you mind just showing me the inside of your bag, sir? Read the air, Chica. Like. <laughs> Hey yo everyone, welcome to the channel and my name is Oddles or Oddly if you prefer. Today we're going to be reacting to episode 5. <laughs> Why do I always have to think about that? I always forget what episode I'm on, I can never remember. Episode 5 of Kaguya-sama. It's been so long since I last recorded because I was on holiday in Portsmouth last week. That's also why there's been no uploads as of late and I only just uploaded Spy Family like a few days ago. So yeah, sorry for that little hiatus, but I was on holiday in Portsmouth for the week for my partner. It was his birthday. We decided to go to Portsmouth because that's where he went to university. So he wanted to like go back to his old stomping ground, whatever. It was amazing. I missed this so much. So uh, yeah, in the last episode, we got to see like a little cute interaction between Kaguya and Shiragane at a party where everybody spoke French except Shiragane. I want to call him Yuki. That seems so much cuter. She bit this woman's head off for Miyuki, which was really sweet, really cute to see. We love to see it. She totally stood up for him because apparently he didn't talk French. Like everyone at this whole party knew French and they assumed that Miyuki knew French because he's the president of the student council. So everyone's like, oh yeah, he was, he's really super smart and intelligent and he'll definitely know a different language. No, he was like the one person who didn't know. So he was like being totally berated by this woman and laughing politely because he didn't know what she was saying when she was actually insulting him to sh and then Kagaya comes along and she knew exactly what this woman was saying. So just absolutely tore into her for Miyuki. So Miyuki doesn't have a clue what was being said, but it was a very sweet moment. He knows that she stood up for him and I think that was like, oh. I've got my Kagaya shirt on. I ordered this while I was away and I came back and it had arrived. And I love it so much. I was going to get um, a cheek one, but then I read the reviews and it like wasn't as good as the Kagaya one. So here we are, we have little like panels of Kagaya on the shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so cute. I love it. So here we go. Let's get into episode four. Oh, Chica. First thing I notice is them. Anyone else see them? <laughs> uh-huh. They're looking too. Yep. <laughs> I knew they'd bring this up again. I knew that would come up again, that Kagoya is like really insecure that she doesn't have as big bazoomas as Chika has, but she's totally fine the way she is. She's super cute. Who's asking you for advice? Oh, now someone's going to Kagoya. Miyuki's already done this. I hope she doesn't give the same advice. She knows Miyuki's was like rubbish. Oh. How to break up. That one's interesting. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's the competition. God's sake. She's like, I can't look weaker than Miyuki. Oh, wait, that is the girl. Oh, shit. I totally forgot what she looked like. That is the girl. Oh, what my God. Yeah, they weren't like friends first, they, like built anything from there. They were total strangers. So, um, yeah, it probably wouldn't last very long. She's thinking of Miyuki. Oh my god. She's <laughs> naming all of his good points. She thinks he has a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh. <laughs> At least that's what my friends say. I got this from a friend. And definitely not that friend. <gasps> oh, she knows. Oh, what is the hat? It's like the hat from the Chica dance. <laughs> Detective Chica. <laughs> She's in the drama club? That's so cute. I can't believe she hasn't, like, confessed this to Chica before. <laughs> Lost property? Okay, maybe she doesn't get it. What? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, imagine him flirting with another girl. No, it makes you feel sick. It's horrible. Mm -mm. Don't do this. No, don't picture Chica. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> Are you sure? Doesn't mean it's love, though. <laughs> she should be taking this advice. No, uh-uh. Chica's actually got good advice for this. Don't do this. Don't don't follow Kaguya's. What is this gonna be? Ooh. Deep. <laughs> Deep. I feel this so hard, especially at this point in my life. Okay, so don't follow Kaguya's advice about the Romeo and Juliet effect, but then Chica just didn't have to put that society thing in there. No, <laughs> I thought Chica was going to give really good advice. <laughs> She's right about the jealousy thing, but it doesn't mean you love somebody. It doesn't mean you necessarily love them if you don't want to picture them with somebody else. But it's cute. They seem to have been able to make it work. <laughs> Is that their way of rebelling? Oh, oh hi, Miyuki. <laughs> What's he doing out here? He looks like he's rifling through the trash. Oh, he's working with them. Oh my god. He's the best. She's like, oh jeez, now I like him even more. <laughs> Is she counting all of his good points on her fingers? <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's in love, so she's lost. <laughs> Let's see if our boy is any good. Is he gonna fail? Yeah. <laughs> he's gotta have something he's not good at. He's too good at everything. I'm happy. He cannot do sports. Mm -mm. Same. Um, to be honest, I'm not good at studying either, but the athletics. Mm -mm. Oh my god. So he moves like he's, he's very fit. So, <laughs> I admire his dedication. He does this daily. This sport daily? <laughs> this reminds me of episode 10 of Spy Family. It looks like a dying elf. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> She won't tell anyone. I wouldn't imagine Chica going around telling absolutely everybody. It's okay. She'll probably help you. See, she doesn't care. <laughs> She's in her own little world, boo. She won't worry. She doesn't seem like she judges. See, I knew she'd offer to help you. Oh, she can at least hit it. That was good. <laughs> huh? <laughs> it's me on Switch Sports. <laughs> Say pretty, please. Sprinkles and a cherry on top. There's more like it. There we go. <laughs> Why is he embarrassed about this? Yeah, same. Yup. <laughs> Scream is me on so many levels. Does he need to go to Specsavers? Like, what? <laughs> it's right there. I, I am bad at baseball and things like that, but c come on. It's it's here. Yeah, just... <sighs> ah. I really thought that would be like... Somehow top-notch advice. <laughs> <laughs> he closes them. That reminds me of how I met your mother. Oh my god, Chica. She's taking this so serious. I love it. Yes, Chica. Oh, 600. Jesus. Oh my god, how many are they doing? Oh my god. Did you see his little nightcap? That was so precious. 
She looks so cute with a ponytail. I dig it. I want to see it more. God's sake, dude. We all have our weaknesses, okay? <laughs> you don't have to be good at everything. <gasps> oh, they! Oh, crap! Kaguya, they! I don't want they to see me like this. Yes! Yes! He's gonna actually spike them. <laughs> this is so Spy Family episode 10. And then in the actual game, he'll be rubbish. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Isn't that good enough? At least you're able to serve. <sighs> now he's too perfect. <laughs> and it was all because of Chica. I hope you tell everybody it was Chica that taught me all this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh crap, he's looking at Chica. Why is she all bandaged up? I <laughs> raised <laughs> She did. Mm, you did, girl. I have no idea what that text bubble said. Yes, well, I'll never do it again. That was so sweet. It was actually really cute to see a Chica Miyuki interaction as well. Like having Chica be one on one with somebody rather than just like the. I feel like Chica's kind of the comic relief. So it was really nice to see her have like an episode with somebody and like show her grow closer to like Miyuki. But I hope he tells everybody that he wouldn't have been able to do that if it wasn't for Chica. She was so bandaged and bruised. I thought that was Kagaya getting jealous then because I thought he smiled at Chica as if to say, thank you. And then Kagaya would read it as, why, why are you doing this? Why did you smile at her? I <laughs> embrace that boy. <laughs> that is my favorite thing. Just hang around and do something at school. <gasps> a romantic walk home in the rain. Is she going to be allowed to walk? <laughs> I feel like that's something my mother would know to do because she watches all that true crime stuff. Romantic season, heck yeah. It's not like that though. It's really awkward. Shamefully truly. <laughs> The meaning is sharing an umbrella so you don't get wet. Oh, everyone wants hot girl summers. <laughs> Convenient. If they're nice enough, they'll offer. <laughs> Some people wouldn't offer. Some people don't like doing it. It's a bit mad. Neither of them have an umbrella. <laughs> you can't get this cute romantic event now. Not gonna get unlocked. It's not gonna get unlocked. See, I'll forgive her because she normally doesn't go, she doesn't walk. But Miyuki, I'm, I'm really disappointed in you. Uh, wanna run? <laughs> oh my god, they do both have umbrellas. What? <laughs> Why are they pretending? They don't want to be the one to offer. I should have seen that coming. Neither of them want to be the one to offer to share the... Oh, I've got your number. You have an umbrella over there. <laughs> it's literally just to share an umbrella. There's no embarrassment. There's not always romantic sentiment behind it. Just share it. <laughs> Call her bluff. <laughs> You're saying you're lying, B. <laughs> Not enough information <laughs> to accuse her of the crime. I I think he's the kind of person who would check the weather forecast like every day. I didn't think of that. I'm such an idiot. So you'd know the weather. <laughs> I said sweat or rain. <laughs> so you're both lying. You both know you're both lying. Where do you go from here? Thank <laughs> you. I'm done. That was 
terrifying. <laughs> it's like being in a courtroom. Would you mind just showing me the inside of your bag, sir? <laughs> For God's sake. Why can they never just do things naturally? Oh, I did not. No, no, no. And uh, now she's going to have to share with Chica. Wait, what? What's she going to use to get home? <laughs> now she has to ask him. <laughs> She just ruined it. She just set her right back. I'm giving you it. <laughs> she wants to give it him and then he asks. Look at her face, dude. You be the one. Be the man. Come on. Take it and ask her. <laughs> She's going to be like, he fell for it. This is so cute. Are they gonna like walk in sync and stuff as well? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my babies. Did they both win? Yeah. Oh my god. It's, it's stopped raining and they're still doing it just because it's an excuse to like. Ah! It's quite bad how invested I get in these shows. I feel like I'm too old. Like I'm turning 26 in November and here I am like watching two like 16, 17 year olds flirt and you're like, oh, it, it takes you back, you know, like to when you were that age and you had those feelings. Like obviously I didn't do anything <laughs> like too in depth like Kaguya does, like planning the entire day, making the car have a flat tire, all that kind of stuff. But the feeling of just like wanting to be close to that person and then even just sharing an umbrella with them, you're all like blushing and nervous. You know, it's because it's their first love and they're like, Ooh, oh my God. I love it. I love them. I love Chica. I love Chica's umbrella. I love that she gave it to Kaguya. She was just like, yeah, Miyuki, bye. <laughs> I don't think she realized that Miyuki also didn't have his, but she just immediately gave it to Kaguya. Read the room. Read the, well, read the air outside. Read the air, Chica. Like, <laughs> see, I thought for a second that Chica had, like, ruined the day because I thought she was going to have to share with Kaguya. I thought they were going to share. Um, so how did she get home in the rain with no umbrella? <laughs> what about Chica? <laughs> how did she get home? She had no umbrella, poor baby. So she did kind of save the day. She made them finally make a decision you know like kaguya was like take the umbrella miyuki and he did and they probably wouldn't have even got to that step for like another hour had she not intervened <laughs> so she was like kika here's an umbrella you take it bye uh, i hope y'all enjoyed the episode let me know what you think of it in the comments down below i'll leave my social media in the description down below because for those of you who don't know i'm also primarily a twitch streamer for those of you who are interested in that kind of thing i hope you're all having a fantastic day and let me know what you think of this episode in the comments and i'll see y'all in the next one bye